more than just a simple statements and lines in his script. And that's it. And we're just talking about oh. scavs. But by the way, hey, what's up, everyone? <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. First of all, I want to welcome you uh, to Tarkov TV Dev Blog 11. And before we start, I'd like to introduce our guests, of course. The one and only Nikita Buyanov, the main man behind Escape from Tarkov, Aqua FPS. Hello. You guys know Hi. these guys, so there's no <laughs> need for further introduction. But Geeksay, my good friend, fellow streamer, and of course, Clean, the main man himself. So a Happy big birthday, thanks. Aqua, by the way. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was birthday. quick. Okay. Yeah. yeah uh, oh, it's Aqua, not my birthday. birthday. It is. It's, please, I am amazed this has transferred here. Thanks, I Clean. I think we know That's... when your birthday is. I'm just trying to do my part. <laughs> it's not today. It's, uh, wow. <laughs> So, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you to you guys for taking the time to do this. So before we start, I'd like to ask Nikita for an opening word. Hello, people. Uh, I'm glad to greet all of you in the chat and uh, my co-streamers, I know co-hosts, co-colleagues. I don't know how to say it exactly. So, uh, yeah, it, it was a long time. Uh, last time we met uh, a long time ago, I don't know, I think it was maybe before the pandemic or thing, before the quarantine thing. So it was kind of like a long time ago. And we finally decided to make it real. Uh, so, again, uh, hello, everybody. Uh, today uh, there will be uh, like different kind of talks about the game and stuff. And first of all, first of all, I want to like say, make some like things, make some. I have some, first of all, excuse me for my broken language, because again, I need to start to switch correctly. So uh, we will have drops. Actually, drops are enabled on this podcast, and this is new type of drops called drops 2.0, and you will not have the label drops enabled so don't be afraid because uh, this is the, like actually we are testing this drops 2.0 and uh and it will be like you will receive time-based drops as it was before like classic uh, drops and also there will be event based something drops i don't know exactly what it is uh people uh like from my team uh just ask me to test these things, so I don't have any additional buttons to give you drops, and I and I actually don't know what actual drops will be in this drops, dropsy, drop, dropsy, drop, dropsy. So um, uh, let's have a seat and wait for your drops. At least something you will get from this podcast. So, um, what should I tell more? Uh, Today there will be some leaks, like uh, it will not be so much, there will not be videos and stuff because we decided to <clears throat> keep things, something secret, uh, just to reveal them later and you will receive this wow effect, like something, an element of surprise, because the next patch, 12.9, uh, it will be not like big patch as it was like in in the in the last year it will be just a good patch why because we don't have so much time left actually because 12.8 uh, was done like just before like i think it's months ago or something and uh, we kind of made a lot of good made a lot of things this year a lot of patches this year we like kind of made a record in terms of patches their quantity and their quality so we are kind of uh, not like exhausted but kind of tired and most of all we decided not to crunch a lot before the end of this year because this year was kind of heavy for everybody and uh, we decided just to make a good patch uh, with a good amount of content good amount of fixes and uh, another pack of quality of life updates and uh, finally i think i think i hope we will fix the late spawn issue because <laughs> we decided to rewrite all the stuff related to late spawning and spawning itself i will probably 
tell more about this new system later uh, not on this podcast but later but most likely we will get rid of late spawning issues so the, the thing is that everybody will spawn at the same moment and if you will not like for example if you are in a party and have a slow pc and uh, your loading is too slow you will get kicked unfortunately and uh, just to keep the system intact to spawn everybody at the same moment so the main reason why you got desynchronized in terms of time of spawning is because you have different types of pcs different configurations and you need different time to load in so that's why somebody with ssd uh, loads much more faster than than that guy who plays on the uh, on the microwave so okay like this is a pretty like common things in terms of loading and that's why we need to synchronize everybody so i will tell you more about it like later maybe we will make another podca podcast and i will tell you about it more so <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> so leaks yeah there will be leaks we will talk about them later uh what's going on right now i will just say it in sh shortly what's going on right now so part partially i said about it we are preparing 12.9 and uh, the thing is that we need to freeze all of the uh commits i will try to sound more professional like a real game developer so we need <laughs> to freeze all the all the cold <laughs> stuff just to make sure we, the, that everything will be tested properly and released properly and in time because usually uh the new year's eve it's like a, an, an ultimate deadline you can't just delay things if you decided to make something before new year's eve you can't just delay things like after new year that will be a total failure and uh that's why we need to throw freeze things uh not not the game freeze like <laughs> freeze features and fixes uh a month for like four months before the release to test things out so what's what we are on what things we are working right now first of all um uh, this is uh like as I, as i told you late spawn fixes and different kind of networking fixes and stuff so to to make sure that the network will be better eventually and uh, the content there will be a pretty big amount of content it will be new weapons new as always like weapons skins uh, like loading gear and stuff hopefully hopefully we will add the face selection screen so finally the pmc will have different kind of faces to select on the start and uh, we will make it like the, the voice selection just drop down in your options to to test different uh, heads of your character hopefully we'll make this because we have a lot of heads and faces ready for pmc and uh, the woods expansion uh, we will talk about it more the wood expansion is not like this, just an expansion it's total rework of the location it will be different in many many things it uh, will be expanded by two times maybe even 2.5 times like a really big location and um it will be like like new like like a new location much more places to visit much more tactical battle combat situations that you can encounter in this location also what's more uh, like a bunch of quality of life fix fixes and the different kind of fixes that we always try to like like make it as much fixes as possible especially uh, when we make some some patch or a lot of bugs new bugs um pops out so we need to fix fix them all again Re i know the perfect term for it reoccurring bugs reoccurring bugs so like it's a pretty common thing in in any software development <clears throat> that's it actually this is short at least what we plan at 12.9 as you can imagine and feel it's soon 
uh, pretty soon because I think right now it's uh, 20th, 25th of November. So actually, we don't have time. And uh, I don't know how we will be in time for that. Okay, let's hope everything will be fine and we will, we will not die of ultimate crunching. There is one game in the world right now. They are experienced ultimate crunching. Ultimate crunching. You know what what what's what's the game is this Minecraft? <laughs> no. Minecraft, come on. Come on, Clean. You know, you know that game. Everybody, <laughs> everybody, everybody talks about that game. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> it's from Europe to Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Yes. Cyberpunk, yeah. Ah. So like best of luck to, 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 to CD Project Red. I know how it is right now. It's pure hell and I know I know what it is. So they have big pressure be, too because it's a new genre for them. Like so. super big pressure. And yeah. uh, I totally <laughs> understand that the the tension is so high. You, actually that we, we we just don't want to have such kind of pressure with, that we have on 12 or, or point 12 patch for example and point 11 patch so it was so much pressure and so much things so uh that's what i wanted to tell about the 12.9 of course of course like a lot of people working on streets of tarkov location and this is the most like important location, like the, the biggest, the biggest, and etc. But uh, we, uh, for this uh, like period of time, starting from this March, like the quarantine period, like pandemic period, we like hired thirty percent more level designers and environment artists just for the streets of Tarkov location. And I hope. Uh, for like till the end of this year we will give you some more about this location some new stuff some new information some new materials like i don't know we will see and you will like today there will be two screenshots screen screenshot screenshots of like indoor locations just to understand the level of detail that we try to achieve and uh, i will tell I'll tell about it more and uh, that's it actually so guys uh, the next thing that i wanted to say is about like current current page 12.8 12.8.2 actually and uh, which brought us a couple of new features like heavy bleeding and stuff so i wanted to hear you out what do you think about it how it went and uh, what's like okay what's not and uh, the thing is like the general idea of today's podcast for me is to start gathering the information about every aspect in the game and for the next year and for this like uh, the next month till the end of this year i will start the process like the pre-production i don't know how to tell it exactly so it will be the total rebalance and total overhaul of every aspect in the game to make it more uh, more polished mm, more polished more finalized and uh, to have the representation of the game for the final release so all the features all of the stuff quests items uh, econ economy traders locations weapon characteristics everything will be rebalanced with your feedback not like just only streamers and content makers but the players too to make the game not perfect but like polished without any questionable uh, mechanics questionable parameters questionable characteristics uh, to finally have this like overhaul that we all wanted especially for quest i think <clears throat> so that's that's why i will gather all the information and we'll be glad to hear you out all of your ideas all of your like mm, complaints and stuff to start like building uh, some uh, 
plans and some like actions to finally polish the game the inner side of the game this is it who will be first Eeks, why don't you go ahead okay um you know you guys added the the new mechanic for the um oh i can't the compass sorry Mm -hmm. So the compass right now, a lot of veteran players don't really use it, but the newer players are using it a ton, I'm noticing. Um, and it's a really good item for them to have, especially early game. But the problem is it's locked behind Jaeger and it is 134,000 rubles. So my big thing was, have you guys thought about giving it as a reward for the first few quests so that new players can use it early? Mm -hmm. That's, a, that's pretty not a bad idea. Actually, uh, we plan to rebalance uh, the initial packages of items uh, based on different type of versions of the game. And we wanting to add the compass in some packages at first. I just remember that. But the idea to to have like the, the, the compass more available for the newcomers, I think it's a good idea. No what about a quest reward? Like oh. quest work, yeah. Yeah, Second, yeah. One of the yeah. first few quests, yeah. So, yeah. Salo, Salua's or something, you get that too, right? Yeah. Yeah, it could just be like after you get the pocket watch, here's the compass. Easy. Okay. So it could yeah. be anything. That with a map could be great. The maps in game, I've never <laughs> actually used a map, but with the compass, maybe there might be something there for a new player, you know? Good point. Mm -hmm. Also, like uh, the compass slot is like will be a universal slot for some kind of devices, like items, for example, the GPS tracker, uh, the binoculars, even. So uh, it could be used. It will be used as like uh, the protected slot for different kind of devices. Radio. And, uh, radio. I think radio will have another. Okay. Protected like uh, slot two. So the idea to have this unlootable slots, like for example, we want to add uh, the armband slot, is also to be unlootable because usually why should like we lose this thing? Because like every time we need to buy it, buy it again or something, and why should we need to loot it actually from the dead body? So I think it's totally okay to have a protected slot for it too. Geeks, anything else? How's your experience um, with 12.8 so far? 12.8 has been good. Um, I've been, like, the quality of life changes that came with it were unreal, right? I know you guys did just change the filter by item and link search. I thought it was fine, but I know you guys did have a lot of complaints about it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's, like, you listen to them and, and you changed it back for them, right? So that was a, a really great thing. Uh, I think the heavy bleeds have been awesome they're really balanced it's not like you get them all the time i think it's, it's really well balanced with how many times you do get them so it's not like every time you get a bleed it's heavy um yeah you know i, I play this game a ton i'm i'm enjoying it but uh yeah it's uh it's definitely right now we're just at a, a lull right now and i can't wait for the woods expansion for sure i'm really excited would you change anything or is there like a much needed you know thing you'd rather have in the game Whatever it right might be. now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right now, um, I kind of see it as just like a work in progress, and I, I know Nikita's doing, and the team is doing what they're doing. Um, you know, I definitely do think the economy does need a rework. You know, Clean was talking about it before the podcast, and I and I agree with some of the um, things he was saying for sure. Um, right now, I I, I just. Yeah, I'm just really happy with 12.8, and I'm I, I'm really excited for the armor to come out. I think that's going to change the game so drastically with the hitboxes that I think it's going to be a good thing for not only you know the people that do play this game a lot. It's going to be good for the casuals too. Agreed. Yeah, that's going to be a really unique feature. Mm -hmm. It's going to make everything like every every it'll make like hollow point SMGs viable for like non leg meta playstyles and stuff. It'll really? just increase the diversity. We started to, to, to make uh, this big feature, like customizable rigs and uh, new type of uh, armor in the game, in uh, hitboxes. We started, like, I think 12.7, but we kind of, we did some things. We did the pre-productions phase. We started to make, like, backend uh, part of it, but we 
put it on hold because we don't have so much, you know, client coders here and we just need to make some fixes and stuff. So that's why we will continue to do it. I think maybe this year or, or right after the right after on the next year, like early next year. So this is like my, one of the major features of the game. So we'll, we'll be definitely will be in the game, and it definitely will change the game meat, especially about armor and stuff. So yeah, and uh, just want to mention that that we are not like we're still on this. Uh, we planned this feature and. Uh, it's just in a matter of time when it will be in the game. Also, I forgot I need to say about drops on this podcast that the, you you guys will receive like some kind of button claim. You need to press claim to receive item. So if you I don't know where exactly and it's you... at the top of the Twitch. I had it happen earlier. Ah, okay. It'll be it'll be at the very top of the Twitch yeah, the chat. Okay. <laughs> Okay. You got something? Uh, yeah, I, I got something. Yeah, I, I did got, too. Uh, I did too. Nice. I was like, I have to claim that. Wait, uh, where's my thing? I, I, I need it. Whiskey. I got some whiskey. I need it so bad. <laughs> have you been noticing... Huh? Oh, oh, sorry. Have you been noticing, like, it with the less players, there's less cheaters now? How is that going with... No, less players. No, no, no way. The amount of no. players is still the same. Like, we have, like, the core... Uh, of course, when I have patches, we have yeah, like yeah, yeah, for promotes, sure. we have like the blast, like the peaks of players. Yeah. But lately, for the half of the year, it's the same stable amount of players, and it's pretty big actually. It's near one hundred thousand online, so it's wow. keeping yeah, it's That's keeping wild. the same level all the time. Why you encounter less cheaters? Because there is a lots of bans. There's a lots of things going on between <clears throat> us and Eli, and different kind of things that I don't want to disclose. So it's just a big amount of work related to cheaters and to combat different kind of cheating software. So uh, the the report, <laughs> yeah, the report yeah. thing, the report thing, uh, right after the match, or uh, is working perfectly, especially when we have an automated pipeline. Uh, between us and body life so things will get better and better and better uh, of course you will encounter you can encounter cheaters in the game report them don't forget just report them that's all you need to do and if you are not a good person and report everybody you can go ahead and continue to do that most likely you are off the system in terms of reporting stuff your votes will not be included in final like gathering of the information that we sent to by the light <clears throat> so yeah continue report suspicious people suspicious not like oh he's 100 percent cheater if you have encountered something uh, uh, suspicious just hit the report button and that's it also report bad nicknames it's also working like for today we banned temporarily banned and uh, renamed a lot of bad nicknames i read so much really stupid and bad nicknames you know like <laughs> they try to like to say something i don't know like they just i don't know it's, uh, i don't understand what kind of person you need to be to, <laughs> to play with such kind of nicknames and i can't tell you actually about this nicknames morgas you know it's it's, it's, it's don't say them they're horrible we, we play online video games we know <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah we've all seen it the the day you put that in the report nickname thing me and clean were playing together and we reported each other <laughs> because the all report the thing was where yeah, the it's... invite thing used to be they, they i reported all of my friends <laughs> on that day yeah, yeah i know you fixed it but it was just funny uh, again like not be afraid about excessive reports by somebody of course of course guys all of you playing eft professionally i can say that you play eft professionally and of course i'm sure that you have a lot of reports on you especially when you play good yeah so it's totally okay it's perfectly seen uh when the, when you have a suspicious player and you have like a lot of reports on them we have a lot of information additional information about uh, his suspicious behavior 
different kind of statistics that we gather on the server and stuff. So we have a pretty clear picture that this one is just a good player and this one is definitely cheater. So we need to send it to the battle line and they will do their trick and uh, find not only the cheating software that he that he is using. Of course, there is some kind of private cheats and stuff, but also his friends, his address, social security number. I'm joking. I'm joking, of course. <clears throat> so all information is getting needed. Information is getting gathered through the system. So it's working. It's working, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the performance that we have on that purpose. Um, what's more? Who's next? <clears throat> Aqua, why don't you go? Oh well. <laughs> I'm not not a very uh, critical thinker when it, when it comes to the game. I'm more of a surface level kind of guy. I'm, no, just you know, sure. give us a glimpse of your like. <laughs> okay, the star, the yeah. star ammo. I mm -hmm. uh, had a lot of issues with that, <laughs> especially as as a man, as a factory dweller, a man of the it's factory, a it's an honest factory worker. Uh, the star has been. Extremely abusive to me and <laughs> and what I represent as a Tarkov player. Um, I know it's been uh, nerfed a little bit, but uh, factory is a different place. I'll just say <laughs> that my home, I don't recognize it anymore. <laughs> but Can't that's my anything. that's my main takeaway from this patch. Yeah. Um, that's, but uh, everything else I like. I like the bleeding, the scav. You eat the. Tessily mentioned this to me just now, actually, as well. This a scav run. If you get a heavy bleed, you're in. You're in. No, you're in big trouble. Deep you're done. doo doo. Yeah, you're done. that's another interesting little thought. But uh, yeah, everything else, um, I've been enjoying. Um, the star is fun. You know, when you're on the other side of that star, it can Send be. A, it can be a good time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's my main thing. Oh, I understand perfectly, and uh, we kind of predicted uh, the impact this round will have on a play player society, and actually, it's used like in real life, and everybody started using it in close quarters, and it's kind of okay. But again, yes, it needs to be tweaked and nerfed, and uh, it was nerfed like two times i think and also we nerfed the amount of uh, restock amount that you can buy from the traders and increased price so again it need to be yeah more so f i don't know what like uh, maybe other guys uh do doesn't have such problem with it i don't know what do I, I don't most of the time when I get like somebody <laughs> peeks a corner and shoots me with it, I usually end up killing them. Like I'm blind, but they're dead. That's what happens to me a lot. But it definitely can get a little if like there's two people with those shotguns, you're in for a rough time seeing anything. Yeah, I'm just blind and dead. So, yeah, usually <laughs> yeah. <laughs> takes me a little longer to aim there clean. <laughs> so like, you know, it's, I'm usually I, I'm <laughs> I don't even get to see the light of day again <laughs> after being started. <laughs> it's, it's really sad. Dude, sometimes I feel uh, like dude, when, when they don't take you out right away, you're, I have a feeling they're just running around in circles around me. Like, look, look at this guy, you know? Oh, they're just, oh, yeah. they're just yeah. oh, relishing in it. They love it. And it becomes oh. awkward. Being voyeurs. And, and being I just, voyeurs on yeah, it. I'm just praying for that headshot, you know? Get it I have noticed, though, since, since it's like, like they're not new anymore. I notice a lot of people, a lot less people running around with them though. Yeah. Like when yeah, they first yeah. came out, it was such a meme and everyone mm -hmm. wanted to get you with it. And now it's just like, you know, it happens, but not as often as it was before. Well, that's, that's a new true. patch. Like it's a new item. Everybody wants yeah, to use it. Yeah. It's just the hype. Yeah. I do love the shotgun go though. That thing oh, is great. Yeah. It's so much fun. It's a nice it's little cool. gl gap closer too for the big geared scary people. Yeah. <laughs> That'll take them down. It's pretty nice. So, so like, in general, you liked the idea that we have some special things in the game that you can be used special, especially. Oh, they're for special, some... all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Well, <laughs> but actually, the idea to to add something interesting and like non typical for the shooter genre, like special ammunition, special weapons that could be used 
very very specially the door breachers and stuff and like sexual charges and camera drones and stuff and, and, and other things do i even Dog. dare ask claim oh. motion sensors yeah. oh, that'd be nice. yeah uh bicycles mm. yeah they are yeah. shaving so like a lot of things <laughs> uh, i want a bike just like the... rolling up on reserve. It's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it like many of these features can be added in two or three or four days, but it requires some kind of rush for the mm, worker for the for the for those who will make it real in the game, and uh, they need some kind of like. Like the positive impact, just oh, I, I want to make a, the the special grenades or something. I want to finally add the underbarrel grenade launcher, but for some reason this guy is too exhausted to work on the current uh, issues of the game, so he just don't have a like a power, like the will to to finally make this small feature. That's why we have a lot of things that we want to add in the game and. Eventually, some of some of them are getting inserted in the game in some patches. For example, like this star round or 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 grenade launcher, like that we have in the game right now, or the static weapons, or the mine fields, or sniper fields, or like something something that we we try to add every single time. That's just to change the meta change the the typical process of playing of the game and still there is a, so much time uh past like almost five years and it's still there is a lot of things to do and uh i think the next year we will try to make as much as possible because we need to to complete the game to make it released and have a dlc plan or something and move on and uh, this is the most important thing for us. We need to complete the game. That's why I started to talk about this rebalance stuff, because uh, actually we wanted to have it this year and Streets of Tarkov this year and uh, recustomizations this year. But uh, I will tell, of course, about the pandemic and distant work and stuff. But I will not tell it, uh, and I will not put. The power in this world, and just, I, I will just say that it was too difficult for us to make such a big amount of changes, such a big amount of quality of life changes and fixes, especially when the game tried to be broken right after the every patch, and we need to several weeks to gather things up and fix all the recurring bugs. This just like just a, just not an easy process for us to add. A, Something. For example, we added uh, rich amber options, like rich amber uh, and different hotkeys for this, uh, for this additional mechanics. It's they are not being used actually in the in the wide audience, in the wide amount of players. But we like spent so much time, so so much uh, willing power to complete these features, like, and we actually shifted and delayed uh, the update, 12.8 update, bef just because of this hotkey features, re-chamber, like, uh, chamber check and, and stuff. So just, we just decided, okay, it will be pretty simple for us to add this uh, hotkeys, but it, like... It was well, not simple. Yeah, that they it was found out. so easy, and that's why we... But we need to complete them, how we could, like... Uh, there was the moment, like, I said, okay, Let's forget about these features. Let's like remove them. But they touched a lot of inner things in the game, and these inner things were rewritten in terms of, like, of connecting all these pieces together. And that's why it's so heavy and so difficult for us to make some new things in the game when we have all of this like like miles of code and all of this ancient ancient evil code also. So. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the most difficult part of 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 of, of our current work. Like uh, the process, uh, not easy uh, at all. Because like we need to change many many things, and we need to 
cancel even some of the features because uh, we like decided we 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 know that the simple testing of of that features uh, will like take a lot of time working like hours for us to do so uh, most likely something will be delayed again so yeah perfect balance like to find the perfect balance it's such a big project in the live environment especially when we are kind of working so much time on it so yeah and um that's what i wanted to tell about it i think this is a perfect moment for us to show, show some links. Links. Okay. yeah some <clears throat> guys in the chat writing different kind of stuff like where is steam audio steam audio was bugged with the new update with the new engine update steam Ooh. audio steam audio was bugged it, it's not our cause it's not about us it's about the steam audio developers they are working right now to fix steam audio and uh, this performance boost was not about steam audio steam audio just broken and uh, we need to be uh, fix it. Yeah, this is a screenshot of the Woods expansion. As you can see, this is the typical view of the Woods location, but we added uh, like a big Emercom base. Uh, you get like DayZ vibes from this. This yeah. looks awesome. Yeah. 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 Cool. I think it really, you know, fills the gap nicely. Yeah, and there's a lot of dead spot. space. Yeah. There will be several uh, landmarks of such kind of this location, and the location will be much, much bigger. And I decided just to show you two screenshots. I have more, but I decided to show you two screenshots just to like tease you a little. So uh, Dude, most epic. likely on that on the next podcast we will show you some video or something about this location because ah. it's almost ready. Running through that finished. field, yeah. I won't get shot as much now. <laughs> <laughs> Nikita, when you and your when you started this project with your team. What was the feeling you wanted Woods to have? Like, what what did you tell? Like, what did you and your team talk about for, you know, your strategy to transform Woods? Uh, actually, the Woods itself it's a pretty strange location. Uh, I made it. I personally made all of the stuff on the Woods right after it was tweaked by many many people. But the initial initial layout. The initial terrain were made by my uh, team lead, uh, like uh, level design team lead, and all of the stuff, all of the like models, all of the props were made by me. And it was like I really didn't have an idea what should I do because the idea was to make the sawmill like or something, and just like to have some kind of woods environment. And that's it. So there, there were no like specific idea and specific uh, thing about this location. It was just about let's make something that will be with forest, with trees, and we have an open like scale uh, scale areas and stuff. And right now, it's being done as it should be. But the idea, with the landmarks, with the like replayability and stuff. So. At first, it was just an experimental map. Right now, it's more complete, finalized map that will be interesting to play with, especially with the bosses. But the boss will be spawned in different places and, and stuff. Mm. <clears throat> so, so uh, the uh, G28. Yes, the G28, the G28, Heckler Koch, uh, there will be new DMR. I don't know when, but it's ready, actually. When the model is ready. <clears throat> Looks good. But, yeah, but it's, it's, it's just uh, to the part of it, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have uh, what appears to be a scope of some sort. Yeah, it's, it's, a micro red, it's a micro red dot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's Acro, M point Acro. This is one of my favorite scopes. I have it in real life. It's really nice. good. It's and nice, yeah. I've... A lot of my shooting buddies use them on the Glocks. I use it like on the on the rifle. I'm pretty pretty comfortable with it. Like mm -hmm. even have this big MOA dot, but it's pretty. Oh, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> an attachment that I would <laughs> use consistently. Oh nice. God, dude. Aqua doesn't care about the stats. He's just like, oh, yeah, so I just pretty. like that. It's so pretty. <laughs> I'll buy that for every gun it fits <laughs> I mean, on. I think the main concern right now are those skins 
Or is it just like a unique item? Maybe a scav boss uses it? Uh, it's, it's just like a testing thing. It's a mask to test skins, to okay. test different kind of okay. so It will not be in the game like, like you see it, but... No! <laughs> <laughs> but I know, we, we can make a poll. Do we want such kind of Optimal muzzle break? boss camo. <laughs> You know, it would be great eventually to have a feature where you could just like go to the trader and be like, hey, mechanic, I want my gun to look like this. And you can have different like options for uh, skins and Cerakotes and stuff like that. I do love how Rashala has a special golden TT. I think that would be really cool if, if like the guns from the scab bosses, aside from the attachments, like maybe like a different like skin of some kind would like differentiate like a boss's gun. I think that would be neat. I, I love that kind of stuff, <laughs> but I'm pretty yeah. easy to please, but you know. Yeah. It's all about the personalization. Yeah, I think that's cool. Yeah. The, People the, like the, that. This West, like, uh, as, I, as I told in some, like, old podcasts, we will, like, add the low-tier items, scav items in the game, like, cheap West, they look like shit, but really mm -hmm. cheap, but it's just, uh, like, to fill the gap of low tier items. Low -tier. Yeah, give some diversity. Yeah. Like, yeah, looks good. I swear I've seen that on like an airsoft website before. <laughs> yeah, actually, this is like the really, really cheap and simple <laughs> West. <clears throat> These are like uh, we are because we are working on the customizable rigs. We always looking. Like lately, when we are actively develop developing it, was developing it. Like we uh, still try try to figure out how exactly we should uh, put real items into the pouches. Mm -hmm. How it will be like, especially when we need to put different kind of magazines, different kind of items, and that's why we like looking for the perfect perfect uh, solution for it. <clears throat> So I have a question regarding the uh, the modularity of vest and rigs in the future. Uh, are we going to be able to like change pouches or just add armor? Change pouches. The, the thing is, the first thing is we have a fully customizable yeah. rig. We have all of the molly uh, like pattern, mm -hmm. molly straps, and we have a lot of different kind of pouches. And we will need to combine them and have like the total exact representation of yeah. your space in this side, in these pouches, and uh, of course, also you'll be able to add different kind of armor plates. And uh, there will be some limitation, of course, because mm -hmm. we don't, we can't just make it like in real life, especially when we have a lot of platforms of rigs. They use different yeah. kind of approaches to store your items, to store your like. Uh, flaps or like uh, actually to remove or change your armor or change your like, cr like key elements of your gear yeah uh, uh, but we will try to make it as much universal as possible uh i'm perfectly perfectly see how it will be because i think it will be it will be really interesting i don't know maybe there will be some visual issues with clipping of course mm -hmm. but Again, it will be really interesting, especially when you will have uh, the the rig uh, presets too. So we'll be able to save your loadouts fully and uh, not too, like. Too... Will we be able to do that with magazines and meds and ammo in the future to where we can be like. Yeah. like the, oh, the ultimate preset of your character, it's also planned. So you will. Cool. Yeah, you'll have a preset of your, of your character with your clothing, That's gear, cool. weapons. Everything. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. Yeah, that's awesome. Also, another, I, I, sorry, our geeks go. No, 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 you can go first. I just wanted to ask, like, uh, the different types of pouches for reloading. Are they gonna, you know, increase speed, like the fast pouches? Yeah. Yes. Like the thing is that we will have different. We will have the fast access zone, for example. Yeah. So when you place your pouches in this location, you will have the bonuses to. Nice. Nice. Yeah. First. Second is different kind of pouches, closed pouches, mm -hmm. pouches, apps, pouches like open type, uh, open carry, like fast grab things like yeah. uh, GI uh, pouches. Uh, they, they will also give you the boost to like operation with them. And if you will use your pouch as like not intended, for example, you will store 
not like magazine, but like sn- slickers, for example, mm-hmm. you receive the penalties. So you need to actually understand and use properly your pouches. Like, so and, does that mean that the layout of your rig is going to change depending on where the pouches are? Yes, of course. Okay. Like, okay. Like, cool. it, it's okay. also a customizable thing where you can you can make like a really like uh, like load bearing yeah. rig with a lot of pouches. It will be not comfortable. It will be heavy. But you will be able to store as much tushonka as possible. So, yeah, <laughs> only the good stuff. Yeah, and the, all of the all of the old rigs, they will still be in the game. Uh, at least they will become obsolete. Uh, but because uh, they are pretty good modeled, actually, and we don't want to to remove them uh, mm-hmm. like instantly when we will implement this uh, new feature with customizable rigs. Yeah, this is this, a, is this error precision? Nine mil? No, no, no. It's like kind of uh, like uh, like the the hand guard is kind of uh, pre- pre- how it? arrow precision. Yeah, arrow precision. Yeah. Hand. But it's like I think it's a rip off. It's a Russian firm. They make okay. ARs, nine millimeter ARs, and they ask ask you to add this. I have the like the exact hand guard on my uh, my AR fifteen. That's why most, I asked. Most likely, it's just a ripoff. Yeah. Usually, usually they just uh, copy things and uh, copy like the good things. Mm-hmm. Will this take uh, Glock magazines? I imagine. Yeah. Yes. Oh, cool. Nice. Is nine mil? Yes, it's nine mil. I love using nine mil in the game. There's just something yeah. about it. It's just so That's fun. MP5 yeah. SD, dude. Buttered. Yeah, dude. Just a buttered out MPX feels so good. It's, mm-hmm. Yeah, all of them are just fun. I don't know. I can't explain it. So, to go back, I, I'm sure Aqua is interested too. You were talking about that skin on that muzzle brake. Mm-hmm. So, you're working on camos. Is, is that something you're working on? Like, are you wanting to bring some sort of camos to de- the game? It will definitely will be in the game. Like, we have an ongoing tasks, like R&D tasks, for example. We want to remake like the wetting process with the drops of uh, water of the rain on on your rifle. We want to re- remake it to look it more real. Of course, it will bring us to a different kind of features like dirt on your weapon, scratches, like overall durability, visual issues, and uh, camouflage too, because it's all like linked together. And right now it's more research work uh, to like to have a perfect understanding and perfect uh, plan and task to do so right now we are not not like it's not like planned for the near patches but it's getting it's getting to be like ready to produce Mm -hmm. this one is just uh, just another reinforced actually reinforced backpack I don't know. Maybe we'll implement some kind of additional level two armor to it oh, to to cover Back, backpack armor. Turtle. Yeah, because <clears throat> we actually has a lot of backpacks, a lot of backpacks, and all it is like all the same. They change uh, their inner size, but again, like <laughs> same the same backpacks. We decided to make something interesting with them. Yeah. Again. It's also on the, like the research state, so it's just an idea. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> uh, just a picture. It's just uh, some some kind of mechanism of some weapon. I don't know even what weapon is. This. Oh, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, inner mechanics of PM pistol. Okay. We will we will remake remake it because actually we don't have a proper model of uh, Makarov pistol because like it's it's based off a signal pistol like flare not flare pistols like how to say it like pistol that should blanks only and uh, it's not correctly modeled so we will remake the Makarov pistol and all of the mechanics in it. Will it kill people better after? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Some Soviet era collimator site. Uh, 
because it looks cool. Yeah, it looks good. Negative Why? 10 ergo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Did it catch up? Mm -hmm. uh, I will not say anything about this picture. I, I'm going to throw out a guess. Is this going to yeah. be the receiver for that Inter integral suppressed AK545 with like the, the whole barrel suppressor? No. No? Hmm. It's something new. Like it's Ooh, so maybe really... 545 on there. Yeah, it's like it's it's a new thing and it's not like our invention and it's not like uh, something that we are created or like just came up. It's 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 a real thing that will be available. I don't know when but it will be available in real life but can you give us a hint as to where it's manufactured no not <laughs> yet <laughs> no <laughs> no that's again like uh, as i told you before uh, still figuring out how to store items correctly without additional clipping <clears throat> Okay, this looks uh, this looks more like the develop development materials. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just I just copied them from the working chat. So, so this is like a new pouch, I guess. Yeah, just a SMG pouch yeah. and how how like like the curved curved MP5 magazine will be stored because mm -hmm. uh, the straight magazines is pretty okay with it, as you can understand. And we need to understand. We, we needed to understand how exactly the curved magazine will be stored in this mm -hmm. pouch without any clipping. As you can see, okay. New night vision. Uh, it's a pretty advanced uh, clip on. I think. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's it's a helmet. It's a helmet thermal vision device, pretty advanced stuff. And uh, like when I when I saw it, I instantly decided we need to edit in game. I'm scared. It it's good. a one eye thing. It's a one eye, yeah. Okay, interesting. Marvel. How are you going to represent that on screen, though? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Half your screen thermal, other half not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like a big oval on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Chat chat is trying to guess what's the model of it, but no no clue, no clue yet. <laughs> oh scab rig, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's... like the cheap and shitty yeah. scab rig. I love rig. the duct tape. I love that. And the yeah. slickers uh, in there, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, to squeeze that's... that water bottle in the pistol pouch. Is yes, that blood well. in there? What is at the bottom? <laughs> yeah, <let's laughs> What's he got in it's there, dude? <laughs> oh my! Yeah, I, that, I, I'm, still, I'm still keeping in mind that we uh, will need the mode, maybe in arena. Of course, in arena, that you will try to fight with the shittiest gear, shittiest ammo. Hobo fights, <laughs> like, like something like <laughs> fights. My, my Hobo fights you, are the best. They're, They're so, so fun. fun. They're yeah. way better than meta fights all day, any day of the week. Yeah. Still, I don't think this is ketchup, guys. I don't know what that is, bro. It's yeah. very when, dark. You know it's a good fight when it goes to melee, you know? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, those are always the most fun. Oh, my God. Okay, moving on. Oh, by the way, Nikita, a little um, off off topic question. I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to know if and when and if you can get some further info on offline co-op, if it's coming, how's it going to look? Uh, when it's I, will, coming? I will tell the same thing that I told before. It's okay. planned, yes. Planned, yeah. And it will be hosted on our servers. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it, will, it's, it still will be online experience on our servers, but uh, the game will be, these, these games will not be ranked yeah. without any progression. Okay. So yeah, we think maybe I don't know. So uh, of course you can understand that it's an additional servers. A lot of like additional uh, resources will be spent on these servers. Mm -hmm. Maybe there will be some kind of DLC. Maybe even clan DLC will have an ability to play 
as uh, offline, like with offline co-op experience. I don't know, like we'll see. He'll, so the idea is to have the perfect, uh, well, perfect is a bad word, I think, in terms of servers. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> good. <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. good experience with the offline uh, co-op on our servers because we can make it available through peer-to-peer or something. Like LAN uh, networking because it will be instantly ripped off and, mm-hmm. and that's it. Cool. Um, that's why we will do it on our servers. We will think how it will be. So it's planned for sure. Um, and I don't know when, because again, there is a thing that many of your uh, suggestions and propositions would be real if we will not have. Like if we won't have so much many other tasks to do, mm-hmm. much more important importance level, like much higher important importance level. So that's it. Eventually it will be. I hope it will be soon because eventually, so like term, like it could be. I don't. I don't. I don't want it to be like in years, because literally I want to make everything for the like final representation and release uh next year on the next year mm-hmm. and uh, i don't want to i don't, I, I, can, I can't tell you that the release will be next year but the next year will be crucial in terms of finalizing the game and that's our goal it's pretty rough and uh, it will be a really hard year i hope that all of these pandemic things will pass and uh, everything will become okay, but that's our plans for the next year. <clears throat> Exciting. Of, of what, speaking of 1.0, would uh, are you is open world still on the table at the moment, or are you guys getting rid of uh, it? It's still uh, like we 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 never said no about it. Never said no, and uh, I'm always thinking about the experience could be like tremendous. It will be something that. Beyond level of understanding of of modern online gaming and games in such genre, so it will be really really cool, especially with such level of detail and features. And uh, right now, it's all being blocked. Like the future ideas, the future like uh, the actual like plans to start this open world thing is being blocked by Streets of Tarkov location. Because mm-hmm. Streets of Tarkov is so much overloaded with details. It's huge. I literally, like, uh, when we when when the guys uh, are showing to me, like, the progress on the location, I got so excited and the same level, so frightened. So frightened, because <laughs> it's so much digitalization and we need to run it perfectly and we need to like for example they did a uh the dormitory building like dorms not dorms on customs but like big dorms inside of the city and they detailed it like you will see the couple of screenshots and they just oh that means that every building and every room in the city like hundreds of rooms in the city will need such amount of details that you you did for this particular dorms and that got me frightened like we need like some kind of miracle we need some kind of like something that needs to be uh, changed i don't know how to keep such level of detail Mm -hmm. and complete this location next year not in five years or ten years next year but we'll see because we did a like a great job before and we have a, a much more um much more artists in the studio for this particular task i think everything will be okay let's hope let's hope everything will be okay and, and most likely you'll see the progress and we will start to you know to boost things up uh, <clears throat> It's some kind of mechanism of ah, I know what's the mechanism. Mm-hmm. It. It's 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 a shotgun. <clears throat> oh, is this the new smart shotgun? Mm, yes. There will be a screenshot, another screenshot of it. 
Uh, this is the, the CQR stock for the AKM. Mm -hmm. Finally, have it in the game. I know that you like nice. this stock for the AR, and uh, there is actual like stock for the AKM series. <clears throat> I love the new changes to the Hunter Vepper, by the way. Oh, yeah. I thought those were really cool. It made it, like, super exciting to use. Fun. And they're reasonable priced, right? Like, they were cheap enough that everyone could get their hands on it. It's yeah. Really nice. Yeah. I love the MRO. This is one of my favorite red dots. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for this red dot. Do you have one coming? I, I have one on my AK. It's, I love it. It's really nice. It's really hard to get uh, the Trijicon products in Russia. Oh, really. yeah, I know. Speaking of red dots, um, when, because we, we spoke on this a bit, when are you guys going to go through and make all of the red dots <laughs> usable and, like, not, what the frick? I Excellent. can't, dude. I can't. Excellent. Is that Killa? <laughs> I think that's Killa's dog, dude. <laughs> Actually, we, 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 we plan to do a an optics overhaul for 12.9, and uh, we'll see. Maybe it will be in 12.9, 9, or <laughs> many, many of I think many of us thinks that after 12.9 <laughs> there will be 13, and actually it's not. After 12.9 will be 12.10. <laughs> <laughs> 12.91 can you tell us what the subtitles say uh, uh, say in Russian yes, yeah. in English like what do you got, uh. what do you got? <laughs> so this picture was sent to a chat working chat uh, related to, to weapons and weapon modification modeling and our team lead uh didn't receive any response from the outsource team and he just sent these pictures like <laughs> what we got, what we got. <laughs> oh my gosh dog scavs coming soon yeah now this might be the new shot that would be terrifying actually <laughs> so this shotgun will have the, the thermal sight so this the back oh. plate of it, as you can see, will have a screen, and there will be low resolution, low latency, a high latency thermal imaging scope, the thermal imaging thing device. So this will be like <laughs> uh, the shotgun with the special ability to see. With Are you? Is the team still working on more thermals? I know the community is split on thermals in the game at the moment so how how are you and the team feeling about adding more thermals because i know that was the plan uh, we have a lot of model thermals uh, and uh, right now we don't have like a priority to add them because again i have an idea to add all of them at once and do a total rebalance to have different kind of thermals but I don't know. I don't know. So the thermals is a game changer. It's not like a game changer. It's a life changer. Because modern, modern like combat, modern war right now. It's all about drones and thermals, and uh, that's it. If you have thermals or drones, you will have a superior superiority. Of course, if you have a uh, like reactive artillery and stuff, you will have a much more. You always AC. 130 you will have like much more superiority on the battlefield but uh, in game it's kind of the same so if you have thermals you will have much more chances to survive and i think uh adding a stim in game that just is like cold-blooded basically removes your thermal signature for like a couple minutes with some downsides and call it a day oh, God. and then obviously make thermals rare I mean, you have a lot of stems. You could always add more, and if actually, there's gonna be a lot of, if there's gonna be a lot of, you know, thermals. Actually, we'll write this. I mean, we have stems that make us like run a million miles an hour and carry a hundred kilos. Why can't we have one that makes our body cool? Mm -hmm. So this is the screenshot of what what I told you about, like the digitalization of indoors locations in on the streets of Tarkov. 
uh, guys made a lot of things already, like like several buildings fully, uh, the grocery store, like big amount, like big area, like on the on the street itself. But again, like the digitalization is, I think it's over detailed, and the guys need to take a take it. make make something less detailed, because again, there is a lot of room, a lot of buildings to work on, and we just need to understand <laughs> do we have some time or not. That's a very scary uh, <laughs> look at all. I'm just yeah. imagining getting killed from every <laughs> angle. Come here, boy, you want some Tushanka? <laughs> yeah. uh. This is awesome, Nikita. Can you tell us a little bit yeah. about what it is? Which map? It's a, as I said, it's a dormitory building on the streets of Oh, Tarkov. streets of Tarkov, okay. Yeah, like it's a, I think it's four story building. It's like a maze. It's not like directly connected. It's, uh, to uh to get on the specific uh areas of this building you will need to understand actually how to get it through different levels through different stores like uh it's it's like a separate location it could be a separate location in the game and it's just a one building it's just a one building it's not it's not big actually because we will have uh the um, business center and uh, hotel it's the same dormitory building like mm -hmm. you See, like the digitalization is different and it's all in some kind of unique style and it's pretty balanced in terms of visuals uh, guys are maniacs i think they they always like they, they they i don't know they i think they started to work on the on their portfolio <laughs> i don't know to so just make screenshots and, mm. and it's like oh we, we made this location for the for the for the uft and uh yeah, there's only two screenshots. I have more, much more screenshots, and um, we will show you later. Maybe a video, and um, it's a. It feels like a different game, actually, especially when you just throw them around. It's more like, I don't know, Resident Evil kind of game, like yeah, some kind of spooky. Thing. I'm so excited for Woods. I'm so <laughs> excited for Woods. It looks so good. How many players on uh, on the streets of Tarkov we plan to add more, much more players than in a usual location? You'll you'll be in raid longer too on streets, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. that'll that'll be like a cool little like smaller sample of what it might be like to have that open world kind yeah. of vibe, you know? Yes. So that that that'll be really cool and exciting. Because like uh, the idea, that's not like an idea; it's a reality. You will get lost on streets of Tarkov. Yeah, because so much places places to visit and so many many things. Like uh, there will be, for example, um, <clears throat> the area fortified uh, auto. How to say it? Like the place where you sell cars, where people sell cars, like auto, auto dealership, dealership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. auto dealership. That like, like it is 45, 40, 45 building. But the there will be a unique boss hold up in there, and it will be pure. Um, uh, how to say it? Like it, you will need to storm this fortified, 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 fortified uh, buildings, and uh, it will not be like like it, he he will behave. This boss will behave not like typical boss. He will like try to protect and hold this location so it will be a pretty interesting he's a he's a car salesman the boss he said or <laughs> he like a disgruntled car I know, salesman. I know, I know. <laughs> in the background he's just a goon uh yeah. it's, it, he will be like a fat guy with the rpd machine gun uh, <laughs> with a lot I need of to get my sales with a lot of yeah. guns, like i think uh, eight or ten guards all of them like uh wow. holding up the different like defensive position uh, with the machine guns and uh, ags grenade launchers so it will be really hard to actually storm this location and there will be a lot of loot in there and uh, it's big and it has like sniper positions and all, all on on the streets and it's just the uh, two percent of the location 
like wow. cool location. So I don't know. Let's like best of luck to us to to, to make it real. It will be <laughs> like like something that you will never see in any other game. I can promise you that for sure. I mean, there's already so much in Tarkov that's in no other game. If he's like incredibly complex and does so many things that no other game has ever done before, so you already have that going on. Yeah, but it's always a good thing to make some new boundaries, some new yeah, levels bridge. <clears throat> street, with with streets being so big, how are you guys optimizing right now? Because it's already like some maps are already kind of leg spikes because mm -hmm. of all the detail and everything. How are you guys going about doing that for the street? The, the, the streets of Tarkov is a, like a pretty understandable location for the optimization process because it's blocks, blocks, blocks. You can cut them. You can make the clue occluders and stuff. So it's easier to actually occlude things behind the walls so again i don't know like it's it will be a challenge of course it will mm -hmm. be a challenge but uh all of the challenges that we encountered we passed them and we did it we did a good job so again i'm still believing that everything will be done uh properly especially the unity team they know uh what exactly are we trying to achieve with this location and they will help us as much as they can to to help us like run this location really well and of course uh, it, it it means that all other locations will be optimized in the same way so optimization techniques for this location will bring like they will, we will use this optimization techniques on other location that we have that's an idea and uh let's like again let's hope like everything will will, will go fine because uh, usually again for the like to have something fixed properly and uh, to have something optimized optimized we need like uh, people to do it and these people usually uh, busy on different kind of issues and stuff like networking stuff and bugs and, and they they can't even make some new features just just because they must fix the game every single time after the patch <clears throat> so like it's pretty non-linear process like it's not like you, you can't predict things and you can't say that okay like let's make the patch uh, on january or uh, february 10th and it will be totally like precise date no something always something went wrong for example like the community can could whine so much about some feature that we implemented that needs to be like a weight system or, or redone or something like or we can uh, some some of the uh, guys players could like encounter some kind of bug or bug or like but like really bad like glitch or something and again it, need, it needs to be fixed it and uh, really really fast that's why it breaks the process and always not a good thing. I actually told this many, many times, so I think it's pretty obvious. And uh, let's talk about something else. For example, let's announce Twitch Rivals. How do you think? Yeah, sir. Yeah. So we have a picture. Do we have a picture? Yes. Loaded. You can go ahead. Pog. So uh, there will be new rivals. Uh, it's it will be based on a bingo. Uh, as you remember, it's pretty interesting and fun thing to have a bingo uh, within the Escape from Tarkov Realm gameplay. And um, the information about it will flow shortly. It's a competition between streamers and you guys will have an ability to receive drops with lots of cool stuff and uh, it will be fun last time drops or oh, last time twitch rivals with the with the bingo scheme was really fun actually i enjoyed it very much because it, it was really fun to watch and with all of this challenging and competitive feel it it was really cool and i think most of you guys most of you guys who are uh, with me right now, you guys streamers like uh, Clean and Aqua will be participating in this 
Reach Rivals thing. Yes? Yeah, yes. it was a lot yeah. it was a lot of fun yeah. last time too. Cuz it makes you the bingo thing makes you play the game in like a different way. You got to like just think about how everything a little differently. I thought that was cool. You have to optimize every single raid, which was pretty interesting. And said, yeah, like, eh, I don't care about this one. So a lot of planning away, right? ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, as you can see, it's like four days till we are stuck in this event. Let's hope everything will be fine. Um, and that's it. That was an announcement of Twitch Rivals. Let's see how it will go. I think there will be some like really interesting stuff to watch. <clears throat> okay. Mm, what should we talk about more? I have a question. <laughs> People might freak out about this. But yeah, you know. Uh, <laughs> if if this is a touchy subject, I apologize in advance. But uh, in game voice. I've been so curious about this. It's not so um, talking about every podcast. Do do okay. Every podcast. It's desync, VoIP, cheaters, and wipe. Every All podcast. Right. I red I redact the no, question. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can answer it again. For some moments I Nikita's I, head was down for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. You know he was adding like a <laughs> Aqua's out of the Rivals event. <laughs> <laughs> For the last couple of times, I just said that I'm afraid to edit it because I don't know it will break the immersion. I think. Uh, we'll just, I was one. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, we will edit for sure. We can, like, uh, you know, that ETS uh, that we launched uh, not so so much time ago. We have an ability to test things, and uh, the ETS servers will be a platform for testing different kind of things. For example, uh, all of this like ground shaking and uh, <clears throat> stuff like remove secured containers, remove traders, remove flea market. We can test it on this ETS servers without any problems. And uh, we will make VoIP, we'll edit in game, we will see how it will go. If it will break immersion, then we'll remove it. So it's like it was planned in, I think, in point 11 or something, but we are moved it further and further and further. And it's like compass actually. But for, for, at some moment, we decided like we, we can't just move things, like move compass further. We need to make it. So I think the situation with VoIP will be the same. We will just make it. I think sometime close and uh, next year for sure and we will see how it will be and that's it cool thanks <laughs> i was just wondering if there's any more thought on it just uh, with with like a map like streets of targov targov or if you do like an open world situation voip might like really change how people play the game like there could be like in raid trading robberies oh. like i don't know <laughs> it's just like there's a lot of a lot of potential for really cool interaction and also like been, really bad interaction. Yeah, like, no, it, it could go either way. But it's a double-edged sword. It is, yeah. I had to ask. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'll be quiet the rest of the podcast. <laughs> uh, I personally like really want to test things out with VoIP because uh, VoIP is a natural for many games. And if we will like uh, move, uh, if we will remove all of the negative effects uh, about it, it's a pretty interesting feature that will allow you to socialize more within the game. And it's important, especially when we have some kind of survival elements in the game. And if we will have long raids, and the experience could be like really cool and really interesting. Like you can just like imagine if we'll have the specific game mode for the arena we start in this dorms location on the streets of Tarkov you have only shit, shittiest gear uh, and the, the shotgun and the idea is to survive uh, cultist waves for example and uh, this like building has five players they don't know anything about uh, themselves but you need to cooperate somehow and survive a totally different kind of game, like a survival horror or something. 
and you need to cooperate within the with the VoIP, it could be really interesting. It could be like a separate thing that will bring a lot of attention, a lot of players in. And uh, yeah, like many players want VoIP. Many players don't want a VoIP. But still, like it's 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 not a problem for us to add and check how it will be. If it will be yeah. like cancerous thing in the game, uh, okay, we'll we'll just remove it or make like con like temporarily, like, temporarily. I switched off by default or something, and we'll see, we'll see. Like, I, well, we, like the idea to have it's like it's totally it's totally okay. Especially it could like really it could make changes uh, on the gameplay, especially role playing gameplay. With Woods becoming so much bigger, you said two times to two and a half times more bigger. Are you guys going to be upping the player count in mm, that map? Most likely, yes. Yes. Okay. yes. I will I will note this down. I think it's planned, but I will check. Will we be able to hit like a kilometer snipe on New Woods, potentially? Um, like really, like really long, long snipes? The thing is that the other parts of Woods, it's pretty... Mm, how to say it? It's not like flat environment. It's more like bumpy, uh, rocky environment. And uh, I don't know, will it have a much open space uh, to actually snipe a lot? But I think there will be some high points on the rocks, and you will have an ability to see everything. And uh, maybe I don't know about the kilometer, but something near could possible could be possible. In terms cool. of sniping. So, yeah. So, I, I have a question that I always argue with uh, some of my community members about. Are you guys fixing uh, where you can get up to Sniper Scab? You can get up there right now. No, I know. But it, with the new Woods update, are they going to be blocking up off that you can't get up there anymore? Because you can uh, only actually, get up there if you... Know. Actually, uh, I don't know exactly, but I think that... This like I just told you about this high uh, high points, high elevation. Yeah, yeah, point. yeah. They will be they will be explorable. So oh we, yes, so we can so, go up on the mountain and yeah, like yeah, not yeah. have to like do weird jumping. That'll be cool. Sweet. I like that. That's that's fair for everyone because if it's, you it's kill like, someone right now, if in sniper spot, not everyone knows how to go get that gear. Like ninety percent yeah. of the time, your gear is safe. But if if there's just like a way everyone knows to get on top, I think that's fair for everyone. I kind of see it like dome. It's like when you're up on dome, like you can see the whole map, but the whole map can also see you. Yeah, you know, it's a exactly. it's a pretty fair trade. You can also get up and get that gear without having to have like level ten strength or whatever. What if or what stem. if you made it so paracord allows you to get up somewhere like that? Like an actual rock climbing mini game would be pretty cool. <laughs> like actually taking the pick and like going. Yeah, up like, like only climbing. certain players who, yeah, who are prepared have. Already. Yeah, I think that <laughs> could be, be cool. cool. Yeah, like if you come prepared, you can get up there. You That'd know? be pretty dope. I agree. The five head idea. So many things we, we can add in the game still. Like I think there is always will be something that it will be a good idea to grow vegetables on the resort. <laughs> Why not? Um yeah. Yeah, you gotta got hatchlings out there with seeds in their pockets, like trying to grow <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> So, uh, Daisy, Daisy actually uh, has all of this. You can grow stuff. How much are you expanding the hideout? Like, I know you guys want to add more stuff to that. Are you guys planning on expanding it quite a bit bigger or just change some stuff around? Oh, we plan to add new uh, zones uh, for it, like different different new zones to, like, for example. To train physical skills or something like some kind of gym, and also we want to expand uh, <clears throat> the shooting range to have like more distance and has interactable uh, things like changeable targets, like moving targets and stuff to have more ability to train within your uh, hideout. Uh, and also, like the idea we want to have. All of the major updates, for example, DL, uh, like clan uh, clan DLC or something, it will be like the area 
in your hideout so you will need to break walls and see oh actually you had a much bigger room behind the wall of your hideout you need to like again uh, make some uh, <clears throat> construct some new areas related to the new clan management system and stuff so uh, we want to have this idea to hide out being linked closely to every aspect in the game especially like with the trading and quests and stuff so it will be like your, your base of operations and when it will be soon tm oh, soon tm yeah like, <laughs> next year i think the most the most questions your questions about when the thing this thing or that thing will be in the game most likely it will be next year cool so what should we left okay i'm reading a question a friend of mine sent me so is there a chance you'll ever make a level cap or lock labs before uh, behind a level you know certain level so you can't join the map until you're like 30 or 20 or something like that uh it's possible actually but possible just before we will make that thing that i described that you will need to uh to actually um enter the labs location okay from the streets of tarkov location so there will be there, there will be no additional uh, option to like just enter location with lobby you will need to have <clears throat> of tarkov find an entrance to the lab location and then transfer to it and if you like uh was on the labs and escaped from labs you will be spawned on streets of tarkov you will need to escape streets of tarkov too uh, and it could uh filter things more and i don't know how it will be but at least it sounds interesting <clears throat> well, uh, wait sorry, when you, go oh sorry go no, oh i was gonna say when when you add that though is it gonna be different raids so like when you go into streets of tarkov and then you go into labs and then you come out of labs is it the same streets of tarkov you originally went into or is it a totally different like actually, sure. I, actually, I don't know. My, my, okay. Really, I, I don't know how it will be because, again, the idea is pretty like simple and understandable, but we need to figure out how we can make it technically. And mm -hmm. uh, it could be a problem because we, we just can't hold the server waiting for you because it will be too no. expensive for us. Most likely, it will be some kind of approximation. Maybe it will be another server, like for like you was like for a long period of time in this level in this labs, and you like came back right after the like, several hours or something, and you see like everything is changed, something like this. Hey, four C people. I mean, I, I think if it's just like a new raid, you don't have to worry about campers. Because like if, if you do spawn into another yeah. raid, people just sit there and wait like, oh, somebody's yeah. going to spawn right there. But if it's I a brand new say. raid, it works just like everything else. So Yeah, but again, they will still be trying to uh, spawn kill, spawn camp mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. cause, uh, Isn't that more of a spawn issue, though, than it is like a, yeah, a like, like, transferring raid yeah. issue? That's why you will. it will not be like just a one enter to labs it will be several entrances they will be different maybe even randomized and the, you will have additional entrance on the factory location you will have additional entrance on uh, on uh, interchange so there will be different uh, like approaches how to enter labs and how to exit labs so different exits on labs will bring you to different locations i see so i think it will be pretty randomized and uh, for the most of the time it will like solve the issue with the uh, spawn killing but i don't know it's just like concept so it still needs to be done especially with this transfers players like if you like if you're you're playing with, with the team you need to transfer all of the team to the new location to the new server like synchronize them like it could be like a pretty challenging task 
And what about you, you the brought loot? up? Oh. Sorry, dude. No, no, no. Okay, no. I just wanted to ask about the like. Say, you have a full backpack, you know, full of loot from labs. Mm -hmm. Will there be like a proxy storage that you can store the stuff in before you go and loot streets of Tarkov? Because no, no. no. Oh. Oh, <laughs> okay. You will need so you to... Have to like, yeah. But again, there will be an option to transfer your loot with the car, with the vehicle. Like vehicle extract will be working as as um, a dead drop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm guessing you're planning like a multiple number of locations for that, or just one <clears throat> on streets. Mm, what? Are there going to be multiple cars, multiple dead drop locations, or just it's one? Not really, yes, it it could be even just you know like a manhole. Yeah, you like you just drop items in there, like, and that's it. Okay. <clears throat> so okay. yeah, like throwing shit down a sewer hole. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, I hope it gets back to my stash. We'll have like pretty unique features that we don't have in any other location. I will t not tell you about them because. I don't want to make like early statements and early, like say something and it will not it will not be in the game and for or for some reason. So, but if everything will go well, like Suicide Tarkov, I think it will be the most interesting location to play, and there will be a challengeable challenge task to actually how to keep old location playable when you have such a big and cool location. Maybe Swiss of Tarkov will have only two or five FPS max, and you will need to play other locations because they will you will have better FPS on them. It's a joke, but who knows? <laughs> oh, so, you brought uh, up. Uh, oh, sorry, I interrupted you again. I just wanted to say oh, okay. that. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, you brought up uh, spawn points uh, on maps, and that is a hot button topic with definitely the whole community right now. Are you guys trying to rework some spawns on different maps right now? Yes. Uh, yeah. it's, it's also uh, uh, kind of <clears throat> related to a total overhaul or rebalancing thing because uh, it needs to be uh, like redesigned for sure because it's still <clears throat> we have a uh, it's like it's less than before, but it still has like an issues of close spawning and non protected spawning. We need to like work on this. So yeah, like like every single patch, we try to fix some spawns on different locations. For example, we fixed kind of reserve spawns. We added more spawns uh, in the ground, like beneath the ground to like dissolve players a little uh we will do the same for the other locations and it could bring uh the expansions additional expansions of them too um that's like kind of plan for this okay i see a lot of people Ask it about cultists, but as far as I know, and correct me if I'm wrong, but <laughs> there won't be any further information yeah. about them. Yeah. No information. As far as they're I know, gonna they're just going to show up in the game, and you're you're going to be surprised. So, yeah, who's who's stabbing me in hallway, in dark dorms right now? <laughs> like I'm poisoned all of a sudden. What happened? Yeah. yeah. We. Uh, no, I can tell you. I can tell you. <laughs> oh, I can tell you. Man, so close. Will, We're so close. <laughs> You just you can remember just like we have uh, the models of them, like screenshots of models and stuff, like and that's it. Nothing will be added more. Like let's wait for them to come um, into the game. That's it. Vector, vector, Chris Vector will be in twelve point nine. Mm -hmm. It's for sure. Oh, cool. Two versions, two oh, versions with forty five caliber nine mil caliber caliber. Two versions. Scar. What? Scar H, Scar L. Scar not it will not be in twelve point nine, mm -hmm. but I think twelve point twelve point ten. Nice. Um Mamma Sean Maps Smoke Grenades Rework, yes. Plant MCX, yes. A question about the MCX: Is it going to be five, five, six, or three hundred blackout, or both? 
three hundred blackout. blackout. Will, will that mean that we'll get three hundred blackout barrels for uh, M4 TX15? Uh, well, like we wanted to make this conversion kits, but it will require a lot of coding, so we decided just to make standalone okay. versions. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. What about Karma DP? Mm. What gun do you want added next, Nikita? Like, what's what's a gun that like maybe not isn't worked on yet, but something that you want in the game? Mm. Like, sure, I don't know. Like, so many guns already in the game. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. Like, some maybe some specific stuff. Maybe some more modern version like MCX for for example is pretty interesting gun for me. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Um, I don't know, like I don't have any particular weapons. I want AK twelve and AK fifteen. Uh, what's an AK fifteen? AK fifteen is a seven six two by thirty nine. AK twelve. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Revolver, and that the same questions all over the place. Desert Revol Eagle. Revolvers would be really cool. Revolvers, like we teased them two years ago. Yeah, still... Chipaya Rhino. Mm -hmm. Where is that thing? And the revolver rifled in 308. Yeah, yeah. Like it's need. It, it, we need to add the like the revolver feature. Like pro the mechanic. It's like unique programming. Yeah, yeah. And also there is a huge thing as like malfunction and overheating it's still the major feature of the game it was planned for 12.8 it was planned for 12.9 and it will not be in 12.9 because it's so much work to do and uh, it's just like too much for for the team right now because like, as i said before we need to like uh, Complete things just before the end of this year and have a pretty calm end of the year. Cause like, you guys crunched for the last two years in a row, like around yeah. December. You guys like were working from for working from home. Uh, you guys were like sleeping in the studio, and it's good to hear that you guys are actually going to be able to like chill out at the end of this year and not yeah, be and, and, and crunching. I understand that the people demand uh, more content, more fixes, and stuff. They. I, as I as I can read the comments, they uh, some of them are pretty rude actually. But uh, it's totally okay for me. I am in, in the industry for ten years. This year was like ten years for myself uh, making games, starting from Contract Wars and now EFT. I made like I made Contract Wars for five years and EFT for five years, and. Uh, it's not You're like ready for a break. Yeah, I'm ready for a break, and I'm ready for for like a new stuff. And uh, actually, the funny thing is, like, uh, just for the preparation for today's podcast, uh, I saw a Russian like group, uh, Russian community in the VK, and they just write it's not no, not some kind of bingo, uh, like you know that you 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 watch something some show and you have bingo like typical words that he will say or something and um, they kind of <clears throat> made a list of of things that i will say and actually i will read the list so the first thing in that list is we hate cheaters and we ban them every day <laughs> correct <laughs> <laughs> the release will be but i don't know when <laughs> <laughs> totally correct totally correct the patch is soon. Correct. The streets of Tarkov is too soon. Uh, is is soon too. Not correct. <laughs> <laughs> New weapon soon. Yes. We know about every bug and every issue, and we thinking about how to fix them. And if we don't know about any bugs, we will know them about them shortly. People are working. People people working. So, correct. Like. We know everything that needs to be fixed, and will be fixed, and we will fix it eventually. Uh, uh, the the next thing is questionable. I will like not say this. Uh, this there is there will be no perfect balance in the game. This is realism, but we will nerf the uh, golden star bomb. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
you probably know about this, but I often buy like 41 or 51 of things by accident when I'm trying to like type in how many of something I want. Mm -hmm. Is that a bug <laughs> that, you, that you're concerned about or know about? Um, it's a quality of life it's, change, I think. So. Okay. <laughs> it's my own fault for not being careful. I'm sorry. Yeah, but uh, we can make some kind of dialogue. Like, if you try to to buy a lot of things, like you'll it will pop up. Are you sure that you want to buy one hundred and five thousand? No duct tape. <clears throat> uh, the next statement is like the game has only thirty percent of content, and we will make everything eventually. Not thirty percent. I think. 55 55% uh, and uh, and the next thing that they will forget about sniping and most likely something will be a DLC etc etc uh, maybe it will maybe it won't uh, sniping sniping uh, like yes it's actually the the big amount of changes in sniping and like different kind of things like weather conditions uh, like influencing on the bullets and winds and stuff will play uh, will be planted in this dlc and this dlc like it will bring all of this feature for everybody <clears throat> so like the different kind of update really sniping i don't know when of course and the last thing is i'm so tired making tarkov i want something new for example, <laughs> the cucumber adventures. <laughs> that's, that's what they wrote. That's funny. Cucumber <laughs> adventures. Yeah. Um, I can't tell like it's right or wrong, but um, a little, yes, a little. When I when I when I think that I'm so retired, uh, it's always about some good and positive players' reactions because it's always a good thing for us and for myself to keep on going to see that, especially when the new newcomers are starting to play uh, EFT and they are so excited, <laughs> like the first time, like oh my god, it's so like so cool, and they describe some basic features that was in the game for four years already, and it's pretty cool actually because. Uh, it means that it means that the game all is all right. It's still, and I know that how many time left and how many like some of you playing the game from the start, from the or like for that moment that the game was only about I don't know what, like one location and, and several helmets and and that's it, and, and a couple of weapons. Poor Caver <laughs> Meta, good old days. So At for for you guys uh, who play a lot, it's like a part of life too. And uh, for us, it's uh, for myself especially, it's a big part of life. And uh, I just want to, I just I just want to make it, like you know, to finally make it and have this kind of stay like achievement. Yeah, like achievement. They completed something. Finally completed something. Yeah, uh, but Wait. it's just, just about myself. Like I know it's, that it's getting there. Yeah, and uh, let's hope uh, next year will be pretty positive and efficient to complete all the stuff and be ready to tell when exactly the game will be released. And it will be really good, I think. Yeah, looking With forward that. to it. With yeah. today's patch, you guys uh, nerfed like that glitch with strafing, and I know some people were really excited because it looked like you were nerfing strafing. Um, are you guys still wanting to get rid of the bunny hopping and the strafing, kind of how it is right now? No, no. Like uh, also these things related to movement, they are also I like, kind of in the same bunch of stuff that I uh, described. It it seems to be balanced, maybe removed or reward somehow so mm. it's all related to like, like questionable mechanics i know that people are trying to tell in the chat like uh, add inertia add inertia like we have 
four types of inertia that we want to add in the game. Four types, different types, and uh, to test this uh, in the ETS servers. So we want to add inertia in the game. And uh, we will not be in time before like the, the end of this year, but it's planned. And we will see how it will be in the game. So I know that many of you are asking about add inertia in game and uh, different we will uh, we will like take a different approaches for example uh, it will be not just a simple inertia like acceleration of your character it will be some kind of this like so to avoid uh, a d spamming like when when the player starting to move rapidly playing pong yeah <laughs> will, like make such kind of move like he will start to move his body and then he will go so if you press ad 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 he will just do like this and he'll, he'll move. but if you'll continue to press a he will like lean a little and then it will try it will start to straight it's it looks it will be looking natural and uh, we kind of tested it in on the range so this is the idea to have like dynamic uh, ready to go position in, in terms of uh, different uh, like uh, sites and uh, it could be like the perfect thing for the EFT so it will look realistic and uh, will represent some kind of like realistic behavior of your character and of course there will be like simple approach like just with inertia and uh, deceleration and we'll see also people <clears throat> Asking about, oh, I think better not to read the chat. Actually, <laughs> something that I'm actually uh, kind of curious about um, is because you you talked about a lot of balancing economy, weapons, you know, meds, armor, all that kind of stuff. Um, a lot of that uh, can be done without requiring new pro programming, right? Like you can just go change the values on like armor movement speed or yeah, you know, a recoil, lot, stuff a like lot that. Of things, yeah, a lot of things could be done already, like simply within the, the parameters that we have, like that we have all of the stuff, like we have, uh, so we, when we started to create EFT, uh, there was a kind of initial, mm, I don't know how to say it, initial, state initial position just no make uh, tasks with the like the most amount of parameters getting uh, outside i don't know how to say it like to like a both. development like a development streamline like having good tools to work like, things yeah, easily to tweak uh, without any rebuild <clears throat> and, okay uh, that's why we can change nearly everything we can change like a lot of things related to character behavior health conditions uh, like chances of fractures uh, chances of different blood losses so many many things could be changed and uh, that's why it's actually will be really easy for us to make a um, like uh, iteration Modern rebalance no no it's like iterational ch changes and we will okay. upload it to ets to test so, for example, we will make like uh, player movement changes, upload it to ETS. You will be able to, to test it. We will make uh, weapon uh, rebalance. We will give all the ETS testers all the weapons and stuff, all the like a lot of money. They will be able to test it with the new parameters. So, uh, the idea to change everything, change like a lot of things. Now that ETS is in it too, I think that's going to help a ton with uh initial patch releases just not having those like oh how did the devs not notice this bug type stuff you know uh, yeah well, with new right, updates. right now we we're still like uh uh trying to polish things uh on you know, in the process of ets uh, servers testing because uh ets testers uh, most of the time most of the part just playing the game and that's it so their reports are not some of them are really helpful some of them are not and uh, for those who are like participating in ets servers uh, it's not about early like experimental playing or something. 
it's about helping the game get fixes get balancing changes before they will hit the major audience because not everybody ready for changes not everybody like ready for critical uh, bugs that we encounter uh, like right after patch uh, uh, uploads so that's why we need to test it before uh, the stable branch <clears throat> Epic. So I think it's almost two hours. Yeah, guys. just a little over. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah like a, a lo lots of things being said. And um, if you have any ideas, any suggestions, feel free to contact, to write, make you make a videos, make a content, like you make a post on uh, different media that that you are uh, get used got used to it and it's always a good thing for to have an ideas that you think pretty important in terms of make the game better and more interesting especially from you guys who played a lot <clears throat> so thank you i guess for your thank you efforts. thank you thanks for having me dedication thank you very much and thank you guys who was in chat like a lot of people a lot of people waiting for drops. Uh, don't be mad if it drops was not okay or you didn't receive any drops. It's it's not my cause actually. It's 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 somewhere some 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 somewhat some I don't know how to say it. So it's somebody else. Somebody else. Yeah. And um, it's still uh, uh, we have time till the end of this year. And uh, there will be some new information for you about the game, for sure. And uh, of course, twelve point nine. It's a not bad. It's not a bad patch. It's like good and solid one uh, with the woods expansion and new weapons, new gear and stuff. So let's wait for it and hope that everything will go okay. <clears throat> Do you have something, Ed? To add, guys, maybe something. It, is it? is Woods before twelve point nine still? Because you said Woods and New Year. I think, right? I think we will we will like polish it, test it, and release in twelve point nine. Oh, okay. Um, I hate to be a uh, annoying question guy, <laughs> but Pestily, this is his fault, not mine. Keeps messaging me asking the final question. When's the wipe? <laughs> it's pistoly. It's not me. It was him. Don't go, don't get mad at me. I'm just a messenger. Uh, 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 wipe. I, I I can tell you when. Uh, if you think that it will be in twelve point nine, to most like you are mistaken. Because uh, uh, I don't know. Like we need to add something more. We need to think about it. Like. And we don't have, we don't want to actually say something about wipe because it's always the same. Every single time when we say like, okay, there will be wipe, uh, like the people stop playing the game and starting to be, I don't know how to say it. Maybe like, just surprise us with a wipe. Yeah. That's interesting. Just surprise Christmas us. present. We are not yeah. <laughs> wipe for the 12.9. So relax. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, like, like, ju just just relax. Like it could be short. <laughs> I don't know. It could be like somewhere near. Because uh, again, there is things that we want to test. But we have ETS servers, and uh, that means that it's not actually needed for us to make uh, the vibes so often to test things. Because we have an ETS, we can test things over there. And uh, don't be like, don't, don't think about that. That will be like it's logical or something to have wipes soon. <clears throat> Thank you. Let's, Thank you, Pestelli. Let, yeah, let's wait for <laughs> 12.9. And uh, that's it. Sounds good. You guys have something to add? Should we wrap it up? Aqua, another one of your questions. 
<laughs> you know, I've asked Perhaps. enough. I'm good. I've I've really okay, Nikita. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's wrap it it's up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank everybody who joined. I hope you guys got some cool items from the drops. Hope you had a good time. And of course, thank you to all the streamers and of course Nikita for taking the time to do this podcast. As always, it was a pleasure. I think uh, there was a lot of good info today. You know, some repeated stuff from before, some leaks, some new things. But overall, I um, hope you guys had a good time, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you again. Thanks, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you Bye. For, 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 the, for hosting, Fair. Of thank you very much. Always, I'm always, I'm always, Thanks, Fair. So yeah, I always forget to, to thank you about, like, every podcast with streamers. With, no, it's uh, my like, pleasure, your, man. Yeah, thank you very much. I know that you are like, I, I saw your videos about your airsoft things. It's really cool. Like, I'm really happy for you that you try things. And that it's always a good thing for everybody that I respect and uh, that you're like not only about something, but try to like do as much as possible. Believe it or not, it actually helped me understand some things about the game itself. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the thing about myself. Like I started yeah. to go to the range really often, and uh, with all of this gear and weapons in real life, I understood that it's like simple things, like some of the like optics, some of the weapons exactly. part. Yeah, yeah. Like they feel the same, or, or you know, just the basic stuff, like or, holding your gun up yeah. for like you know, and X uh, right of minutes. Now, Right now, like the rebalance process of the game could bring a lot of interesting changes. And yeah. I can assure you that if there <laughs> will be more, like, it's for sure there will be a lot of changes to the game, balancing changes that I told before. I told you before. And the game will feel nice. different. The game will feel differently. And uh, it's, it will be not like a different game, but I think it will be more hardcore. And I know that dedicated players who are like who try to play the game and who like started to play this game because of this hardcore thing uh all of these changes will bring more hardcore in the game and uh, hopefully remove all the questionable mecha mechanics and yeah. uh, like this stuff and will be more solid in many many different ways and things will be changed M mythos will be changed for sure because for example just a simple thing the weapon loadouts uh, like the meta stuff will be removed so the, like right now we, we all know that uh, we, you can make a weapon the weapon build that will like be so efficient but it will look like shit and it will nothing meta be, weapons meta weapon mm -hmm. we I mean, will like this yeah and to, like to these make... huge cannons that people bring in raids like nobody uses those yeah but again it will be possible with the with, with the addition of uh durability issues like troubleshooting and stuff and uh, nice like even magazines will have uh chances to malfunction so it will not be just like different skins or something it will be different types of magazine that will behave differently and have different chances of malfunctions it will be interesting and cool of course <laughs> and uh it's, it will be the perfect time to come back into the game yeah. i don't know when, yeah when we are all together i'm like i'm pretty sure that most of you guys already will, will participate in this uh to like to rebalance the game properly and to add your uh, ideas uh, in this pool of future changes <clears throat> The game will will feel differently, and it will be a perfect uh, perfect time. I don't know when, no, but next year I think to come back in the game and feel the difference. That's it. So okay. thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. You. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Just to uh, to wrap it up, I know 2020 has been you know pretty shitty <clears throat> for everyone <clears throat> so far. So uh, in order to change that just for a little bit, let's go raid. Fellow streamer. His name is Dan Exert. So you guys go and uh, chat him up. Give him a follow. Give him a sub. Watch him for a little bit. He's a super cool guy. 
And uh, once again, we love you all. Thank you so much for sticking around. And uh, hope you had a good time today. So have a good night. Have a good rest of your days. And uh, see you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.